that's how that feeding went. She is very skittish. All right. Little poop, how are we gonna get you back? There's your pumpkin patch feeding for you, cat. There she is. I'm really beside myself. I just expected to never, ever see her again. And as some of you may know, I lost a tarantula. She escaped, and this was back on the 13th of October when I just caught her uh, a couple hours ago. She was not skittish at all. I don't know if this is because she's out of energy and she was hungry, but she was just calm as can be. I put her in her new enclosure. She would not eat in front of me before. I really cannot believe it. And a little bit in disbelief, really. Um, I didn't expect to have such good luck. I thought that she had gone down into a vent. Oh, yes, I am so thankful. This is the best news. I just watched Martin's video where he found his uh, tarantula that had escaped. And that was his um, Harpectura pulchropase, and it was above the doorway. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out on Martin's channel. He was so excited that he found his tarantula. I cannot believe my eyes. There she is. I'm really beside myself. I, I thought I just could never get so lucky. I will never see my tarantula again. And But somewhere in my heart I was thinking, what if, what if I found her? And here she is. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Uh, I just got this today off of Craigslist. It's a really small eight by eight um, Exoterra. And yeah, it's perfect for her. She's a Columbia species large pumpkin patch. So that'll be perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of breath because I'm so excited. Now, back in October, Tarantula Cat had asked us um, if we would want to do a collab with her and send in uh, videos of our pumpkin patch tarantulas, Hapalopus species Columbia large. And so I did send her a clip, and um, I will provide the link um, right here for you if you want to go see that uh, collab and all of those feeding videos. I tried to get a second video because I wasn't satisfied with the clip that I had sent to Tarantula Cat. I <laughs> tried to feed my uh, pumpkin patch again and when I put a roach into the enclosure it ran into the under the bark into the hide and the pumpkin patch ran out the back of the enclosure. <gasps> up underneath the table. Well. And she just hung out there. Looking a little frightened and I thought that she would stay there so I went to grab a catch cup and this is what happened next. So here she is um, and I'm sure she's probably a bit weak and not exactly happy. I mean it's been several months now um, that she has been out. I don't know if she's eaten or not. Uh, doesn't look like she has kicked any hairs or anything. Let's get her back into this enclosure. Oh, she's probably ready. Get her to go into her enclosure. Come on, sweet girl. Now, this girl came from Dean's Tarantulas. He gave her to me. I have felt very bad because she escaped. Okay. Oh, she's in. All right. Thank goodness. Let's take a look at her. There she is, crawling around. This is going to be perfect for her. She doesn't really have a back exit. I can choose if I want to just open it from the front. I'm so thankful. Oh my gosh. You know, if you've lost a tarantula before and had it show up months later, then you know what I'm feeling right now. 
I really thought I would never see her again. Let's try and feed her and see how that goes. I am going to offer her a big wax worm. There it is. <laughs> Could never get her to eat on camera before. What a good girl. Wonder if she's molted since she escaped. Look at this beautiful girl. So now she has this nice little 8x8 eight eight exoterra. This will be perfect for her.